think what is different about Wondercore is that we have really stayed true to coring. We are a close-knit learning community. Um, we feel that having a good relationship with our students and our students with other students um, and that, that connection and sort of family or school within a school that we create really helps make things more comfortable and in that kind of environment students can learn better. We like it to be fun. Um, learning should be fun. It shouldn't just be hard for the sake of being hard. Um, it should be fun and as long as people are doing what they're supposed to be doing we do like to have a good time. Miss Green we did a few projects on um, ancient Greece and the French Revolution, which were all very interesting. I did not think away! Whoa, 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 hey, I didn't do anything! Oh, Wait, I'll put your head! Do it, do it right, right side. side. Given these facts, what do you want to do with Rose Pierre? Tell him. The environment, the students are all very nice, the teachers are incredible. I've been learning a lot and it's been a so far good high school experience. Because then you don't think about it as learning, you think about it as having fun, but while you're having that fun it just gets implemented into your brain and you remember it. Miss Green does a lot of interactive activities where she gives us, us, she gives us roles and then we have to do things to help us better understand what exactly it was like to be back in time, like kind of how the people felt in history. The students like to interact with each other, so any time that we can do, you know, a role play or a debate or, um, you know, some sort of simulation, those are the activities that students really seem to enjoy and remember. You know, you're basically saying revolting is you're basically saying that humans are allowed to do whatever they can to make a new government, so like kill each other. So then they'll revolt though and then they'll make their own government without the leader. It's my right to choose what I think is best for them. We uh, made them a kingdom. Well, no, 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 you can right. always get more. Uh, people are too chaotic and crazy and they would think that they're equal. Yeah, but that's just the makings of people. That doesn't have anything to do with the government. Now we have that same academic rigor uh, um, kind of linked up with the digital media. So I think, and I hope when uh, students choose uh, Wondercore, that they are going in uh, with eyes wide open, that, that they are going to be exploring digital media and that that is something that they would be interested in. I enjoy being creative while working with media and um, being able to collaborate with others. Focus on making things about books, so we just recently made a, like parts of a movie and so we got to choose groups and then we go out and film during class and then edit a bunch of stuff. Um, in Cunningham, my favorite actually, we did a project on Lord of the Flies. We made a short film, about three minutes long, about a scene in the book or the novel. And um, it was very interesting. It took some time, some persevering, but it was overall really fun. And it was, it was pretty fun because that's not something I've ever done before and that was pretty cool. We used um, pretty much everything about our movie was online and we did an editing software online, we did filming, it kind of like taught us how to use more electronics even though we're kind of like masters at that already. Um, and I mean I never knew how to edit anything before and now I already know how to basically do that. Will you focus on kind of different things? Um, I feel like we have more projects than some of the other cores, which means we get to get in groups with our friends and do those together. Wonder Core is a core that helps you engage with others and work as a team and not just by yourself and it's a good core that challenges you. Well, my favorite media activity or project that we've done was the World War II one um, that we did together where students picked a World War II battle or event and sort of recreated it with the Arate Corps um, with all their fancy equipment. <laughs> It was just so fun to work on that project over time and then get together as a group at the end and it was like movie day where we could watch these elaborate scenes that students had created um, and use it as sort of a review, but it really helped with understanding as well and it was just a, a fun way to learn. Um, being able to uh, use the media focus as a way to kind of think outside of the box to try to hit those standards. Um, and at the same time, hopefully, especially at the sophomore level, for students to be able to flex their muscles when it comes to editing programs and just uh, all, all the digital media, just the whole spectrum. My yeah. teachers just aren't boring. They're very talkative, friendly, and 
They make sure that you understand everything that you're doing and don't just leave you hanging. I want to provide um, uh, projects in which uh, the whole array of, me of digital media will be um, on the table for them to use for their final project. The one thing that we've stayed really true to is that we are connected with each other. Um, so it's that sense of caring about each other, caring about the curriculum, caring about the world around us. It's nice. We're all good friends. We all have a really good connection. Um, it's very safe. I like the media aspect because it's really easy to organize your work because you don't have a bunch of binders full of paper and everything. It's just you have folders on your device that like your device almost makes for you so you don't have to sort things out a lot. Something that stands out to me is being able to create pieces and learn how to create pieces because that's something I've never done before. For the most part it's people who are actually interested in what they're doing and so you have that in common with them. I like to see the honors students um, working with the academic students because there's all sorts of perceptions about what each group looks like but in fact they both have strengths um, that they can um, that benefit both groups and so that's fun to see you know the um, academia and the creativity and all that blending together. Miss Green and Miss Sashin and Mr. Murdoch were really nice teachers so I was like okay like maybe I'll try honors and Miss Green like Miss Green like persuaded me to go into honors so I was like okay I'll take it and I think I'm it's a good choice that I made. Um, we do get the design class, which is like an added thing, so we get to use Photoshop and animating, and it's really cool because it's things that I never would have done on my own, and so having a class about it and having a teacher to show us how we're doing it is like really helpful. Respect is really important, um, and having a safe place to be is really important. So I want my students to respect all points of view because that's the only way we can learn about them. So that's a really important part of, of my class, but I believe the core as a whole that this is a safe place where we can get together and respect each other, but also be ourselves and um, and learn about ourselves. Get your hands on this page. Yeah. 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 yeah.